I'm Aisha and I work in Strategic Development Services at TU Dublin. The TU Dublin Strategic Plan to 2030 was prepared with national strategic objectives such as Athena Swan in mind. The TU Dublin Athena Swan Action Plan sets out our commitment to female staff and student recruitment. Responsibility for delivering on our recruitment and Athena Swan commitments is held at the most senior levels in TU Dublin. Successful implementation of our vision of TU Dublin in 2030 can only be achieved with senior level buy-in. My colleague Susan will now showcase one school's experience with female student recruitment. This is the story from one department in TU Dublin, computer science. Seven years ago, we had just 10% female students on our programme. We undertook a number of things. The first thing that we looked at was our overall environment and culture and the student experience. We took steps to reduce female student isolation. We talked to the students and found out what we could do specifically to make their day and their environment more welcoming. We got real support from school management. Gender balance was put at the heart of every plan and every strategic initiative within the school. Next, we looked at curriculum. We understood from our data that female students have a preference for cross-disciplinary programs. We introduced a program, Computer Science and Languages, called Computer Science International, and we've now reached the magic number of 42% female participation on this program. Mentoring, we put a high profile mentoring scheme in place with industry. Every female student gets an industry mentor and we have large scale events every month. Programming supports were put in place for all genders. A culture of mentoring became apparent in our school. The name of our mentoring scheme is Esteem. The final thing that we did on a large scale was sharing best practices. We created a network by contacting every computing and computer science school across Ireland in the universities. Every one of them agreed to have a representative in our network and we used that at regular three monthly meetups to share ideas on best practices, things that work, things that don't work. This has proved invaluable. We also notice that as we do more things and take more actions, our culture improves for welcoming female students, more join and our reputation grows as a school and this continues. Next, I'm going to introduce Julie, who is going to talk about a specific event run for secondary school students. Thank you, Susan. This year on International Women's Day, TU Dublin held an event for local secondary schools for both boys and girls. The event was called Let's Talk About Your Dream Job. And the event aimed to challenge the students thinking about gender stereotyping and the role that it might play in their career choices. As part of the day, we had a facilitated panel discussion with our career service, and we brought in a male primary school teacher, a female plumber, a female carpenter, and a female computer scientist. And they spoke to the students about the key decisions that influenced their career choices, even though the career was perhaps for a gender not normally associated with theirs. A key message that we wanted to bring to the students that day was the very important role that males play in leading gender equality. Thank you. Thank you.